This is a video on a couple of ways that I used to stop. My two favorite ways, I suppose. I made a video before that went into a load of stuff in detail, but I think that's necessarily necessary. Basically, as long as you can slow down and stop, I think you're good to, good to get going. So rather than teach you a load of moves that I don't really use, yeah, these are two ways that I actually stop day to day. <laughs> Most of the time that I'm skating. There's two ways that I stop when I'm on roller skates. Let's get started. First up, we've got a T-stop. It's a great way to slow down, and it's quite effective even when you're not doing it properly. It's not the fastest way of stopping. It's often not the smoothest, but it's pretty reliable uh, and good to both slow down and stop your skates. So as you're skating along, take one of your feet off the ground. One of them will probably feel more comfortable to do. So I'll take, I'll take that one off the ground. And being able to skate on one wheel will be useful here as well. So we'll take that foot, place it behind the other one, and tap those wheels on the ground. We can increase pressure to slow down quicker. To begin with, you'll probably find it easier to pop the leading edges of your wheels down. Um, I'll show a clip here. It's not going to stop you as fast, but it's just more forgiving. Um, if you do it properly, it'll just flick your leg away. It should be easier. As you get better, or if you want to stop quicker, then the real trick is to put your trailing wheels down, ideally flat on the ground. Uh, I'll show you a clip here. Um, alternatively, all four wheels down, flat on the ground, but 90 degrees to your front skate uh, will stop you the fastest of all. Only thing that's going to make you stop faster is putting more pressure on that uh, trailing foot that's trying to break you. Next up is doing a spin. It'll take you to a stop pretty quickly, um, but might not be good if you're going too fast. Put up. This works because you're taking your forward momentum, turning it around 180 degrees and putting it back on itself bringing you to a stop or sending you in the other direction. There's a few different ways to do a spear and I'm not going to cover all of them. So all I'm doing in that stop, I'm riding along like so. Again, you've got this one leg that's going to be more comfortable to do this with and you just got to figure that one out yourself. But mine, it's going to be easy to put my left, up and my left foot up and pivot on that one. So as I'm riding along, I lift my left foot up on its back wheel keep my right foot going forward and turn my left foot out left. That'll spin round and I'll do a spin. Right, one more time because I think I'm quite doing that right. Left foot up, keep the other wheel turning around in a circle and bring it back round straight. Hope that helps. Uh, but if you've got any questions about how to do any of that, then feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm normally really responsive on that. But yeah, I don't want to give step by step, one, two, three, four advice. A lot of this is muscle memory and it won't make sense until you just feel how it works yourself. That could be really, could be really off putting to hear if you like to be taught things and, and learn that way rather than having to go yourself. But really with this, you, well, the way I learned is to have a go myself. And I think if you know what you're, if you know what you're trying to do, if you know what you're trying to go towards and you know what you're trying to practice, then the best thing is to get out there and do it. You might fall over a bit, you might look silly. That's no drama. I fall over, I fell over earlier on while holding the camera out. So no one looks silly when they fall over while recording themselves. Thanks for watching. I've been Mr. Skids. Let me know what you might want to see next.